Hey guys, so for today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about universal storyboards. And this is a really cool new enhancement to Xcode because now we can build out one storyboard to target multiple devices. Whereas in previous versions of Xcode we had to have separate storyboard files for the iPhone and iPad. So to see this in action we'll open up a new Xcode project. We'll click single view application, click next, and we'll just name this storyboard sample. Click Next, Create, and we're going to head right on over to our main.storyboard file. And right away you'll notice that the interface looks a little bit different than what we're used to. Now we have a square view controller here. And um, this is actually meant to be an abstract representation of, of a device. So it's not meant to be specifically iPhone or iPad. But you'll notice at the bottom of the screen it says width any, height any. And this is adjustable. So for example, in the upper left-hand corner, we have final values for iPhones and landscape. But if we expand this all the way we have for iPads and portrait or landscape. So you're probably wondering how this plays out um, when we're, we're trying to target a specific device. So first in your file inspector make sure you have use size classes checked and then we're going to click our assistant editor and I'll also close the right hand toolbar and we're going to click on the um, preview main.storyboard main preview and you'll notice now we have an iPhone 4 inch preview here on the right hand side and I'm also going to temporarily close the left hand side to, to give you more room and just by pinching I can on, on my trackpad I can expand and, and zoom in um, so you're probably wondering now how do I get an iPad so I can click plus and click iPad and now on the right, I have an iPad. So now to see how the enhanced preview changes after dropping in objects, I'm going to reopen the utilities bar. And I'm just going to add in an image view. And I'm just going to drag and drop this into our main storyboard file. And you'll notice that on the right hand side in our, in our enhanced preview, it's now populated with our image view. So now to show you how the preview will update based on auto layout, um, we can go back in here and select our view and we're going to pin it to each of our four sides. Click add four constraints and now on the right hand side it's updated. And now I'm just going to uh, temporarily delete this and you'll notice that as soon as I deleted it, it was also deleted on iPhone 4 and iPad um, because again we're working in the universal view. So Say I want to make a change to just the iPhone 4, but not the iPad. What I can do is I can select a specific width here. So I can do width compact height any. And this is supposed to represent iPhones in portrait or landscape. So now I'm going to drop in a label and show you how the preview would update. And so now you see that only the iPhone 4 is populated with the new label. I'm going to go back over to our width and height control and I'm now going to select the upper left hand box and this is for iPhones in landscape only. So if I do this and I drag in a label and I'll change this to landscape label it does not repopulate on the right hand side but if I click on this button, it rotates, and you'll notice now the landscape label appears here. And I can click on this to then reverse it. And just to show you this um, in the simulator, you see the label there. And now if I rotate, you'll notice that the landscape label pops up. So there you have it, Universal Storyboards in Xcode 6. I hope you're as excited about this as I am, and I'm really curious to see what Apple launches in the future for different sized devices. And um, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and stay tuned for the next one. See you next time.